What's up, YouTube? This your boy, B Boy Fast Shiny TV, and tonight I'm gonna give you guys my AEW Rampage review on highlights. So, you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button and connect with me the right way by hitting that subscribe button. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And let's get started. Now, AEW Rampage, I enjoyed the show. It was, it was a, it was a good show. That's all I gotta say from here. But anyway, we're kicking things so off with Adam Cole versus Jake Atlas. This was pretty good. Pretty good. As Atlas is a former gymnast that was trained by the Santo Brothers and was with WWE for 2018 through 2021. He made his AEW debut at the last last dark taping. Adam Cole and Jake Atlas have never faced off against one another. Jake Atlas shows off his technique technical pro with progress early on taking Adam Cole down and working him over with a headlock. Adam Cole counters into a head scissors, but Jake Atlas handstands out of it and Adam Cole is frustrated. Adam Cole hits a series of strikes and then goes for the boom, but At Jake Atlas moves and grounds for a moonsault, only for Adam Cole to move on mo to move and Jake Atlas hands on his feet. Jake Atlas goes for a roundhouse kick, but Adam Cole ducks and they both go for super kicks at the same time. Jake Atlas hits a drop kick for a near fall and then lights and lights Adam Cole up with chops in the corner. Jake Atlas hits a series of kicks in knees and then goes goes up top, but Adam Cole shoves him off to the floor. Adam Cole throws Jake Atlas into the barricade and then rolls him in the ring. Back in the ring, Adam Cole continues to be on Jake Atlas with elbows and forearms. He choked Jake Atlas barely, barely in the corner, but Jake Atlas fights his way out with elbow um, cap, cap off with a roaring elbow. Jake Atlas ring was off the ropes with a coffin drop type of move, only for Adam Cole to catch him in midair with a back backstabber. We go to commercial break. Jake Atlas hits a runner, sending Adam Cole out to the floor, and then he, then he hits a flying drop kick through the ropes. Jake Atlas, a total suicide, sending Adam Cole into the barricade. Jake Atlas tosses Adam Cole back in the ring and hits a springboard missile drop kick for two. Jake Atlas for a roundhouse kick, but Adam Cole ducks and hits a pump kick, followed by a net breaker for a near fall. Adam Cole goes for a super kick, but Jake Atlas catches his foot and hits a super kick. He hits a rip, rip, rip cord Larry and then goes for a suplex, but Adam Cole counters into a brain buster over his knee for two. Adam Cole charged into a pump kick from Jake Atlas, followed by a vertical suplex ball for two. Jake Atlas goes for a springboard move, but Adam Cole hits him with a super kick in midair. And you can and you can tell Jake Atlas blew his knee out there. Adam Cole goes for the Panama Sunrise, but Jake Atlas just falls down. So Adam Cole puts Jake Atlas in a knee bar for submission. The winner of the match, Adam Cole. This was a good match right here. Good match. Adam Cole taunts Jake Atlas as as Red as Red Dragon, and they are about to attack him when best friends run out the run out to chase them off. Dustin Rhodes announced that Cody Rhodes has has been medically clear, so he will face Sammy Guerrero at battle for the belt, the interim TNT title. All right, so we get commercial break. Tony Chabot interviewed Andrade and asked him what his issues with Sting and Darby Allen is. Andrade says he has no no issue with Sting, but he wants to know why that little kid worked for Sting. Adrian says they need a new assistant, so he wants them to name his price for his for his little kid. So we get Hook versus Aaron Solo. So we get Hook versus Aaron Sol Aaron Solo, accompanied by QT Marshall. This was this was good too. This was good. Good match, by the way. Good match. Hook Hook locks up with Solo and then lets him into the air into the into a throw. He he goes for a submission, but Solo quick, quickly gets to the ropes. Solo goes for a waist lock, but he but Hook immediately reverses it and sweeps Solo's leg and 
put some in a half Nelson. Solo guts hits gets gets his foot on the bottom rope. Hook lays in, into Solo in the corner with a huge body shot, followed by a headbutt. Marshall grabs Hook boot, allows Solo to eat a former. I'm sorry, four, forearm smash. I said forearm. My fault for botching that. A forearm, a forearm smash. I got that right this time. Hook counters a whip attempt with a red hook leg sweep and puts him in. The octopus solo rolls hook over into a near fall, but then eats a chop to the head. Hook hits a gut wrench suplex, but solo comes back with a jawbreaker. He goes for a roundhouse, but hook catches his leg and hits the cradle top task flick. Hook hits a series of crossbase and then locks in the redraw for submission. The winner of the match, Hook. This was a good match, too. Good match, too. Marshall tries to attack Hook after the match, but also eats the tap, tap flex. Ricky Starr says that he will defend the FTW title against Matt Sidell on Battle of the Belts. So we get Ruby Soho and, and Riho versus Brit, versus Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, and Jamie Hayter. Um, this was a decent match. Decent tag team match. Rebo drags Soho out of the floor while Jamie Hayter and Britt Baker attack Rio before the match even starts. Soho fights her way back and hits a knee strike to Hayter. Jamie Hayter and she and Rio isolate Hayter and their corner for several times. I mean, several minutes. Riho does a real barrel move, flipping Soho into a spear on Hater in a weird spot. Hater finally fights her way out and tags Baker. Baker and Hater work Soho over in their corner, but Soho fights out with a suplex and tag Rio. Soho puts Rio on her back and hits a backsplash. Send time on to Baker for two. Soho, Ruby Soho tags back in and work and walks into a pair of fingers to the eye from Baker. Rebo trips Soho and Baker hits a butterfly super followed by a basement dry cake for Jamie Hader for two. So we went to commercial break. Reho hits a dry kick to Jamie Hader and then a spinning, spinning head scissors. She hits a drop to hold, sending Jimmy Hater into the ropes, and then hits the 619 for a two, but Jamie, but Dr. Britt Breaker breaks it up. Dr. Britt Breaker and Jamie Hater go for a close line, double close line, but Rio cartwheels through it and hits a DDT on Jamie Hater, launching herself off, off Baker for a near fall. Rio goes up top for the Geo ghetto stump, but Baker shoves her off. Baker hits a forearm smash, and ha Jamie Hader hits a bed breaker, followed by a super kick from Baker and a leg sweep from Jamie Hader for two. Jamie Hader goes for a brain buster, but Rio fights her off and ducks an elbow smash attempt, causing Jamie Hader to hit Baker, and then she rolls Jamie Hader up for the for the pin. The winner of the match, Rio and Ruby Soho. Dr. Um, Dr. Britt Breaker and Jamie Hayter shove each other after the match. So we get Dan Lemmer, Dan Lemmer, um, complain about the intern, the intern TNT title match in Scorpio Sky says he should have just been named champion because he didn't, plus he hasn't lost a singles match in over 300 days and he ranks in the top five. Ethan Page says they be watching very closely tomorrow. So we get commercial break. Um, during the Tropical Rampage main event promo battle, um, Eddie Kingston and Power, um, Proud and Powerful attack the Hills. So we get the main event, no disqualification match of the evening. 2.0 Daniel Garcia and Eddie Kingston. I'm sorry, Daniel Garcia. Yeah, 2.0 and Dan Garcia versus Eddie Kingston and, and Proud and Powerful. Fun main event. This this match was fun. 
This yeah, this tag team match was fun to watch. Fun match. The fight spills into the arena as Eddie Kingston and Proud and Powerful beat Garcia in 2.0 all around their area, all around the arena. In the ring, Eddie Kingston grabs a, a trash can and brain and brains Garcia with it. Ortiz and Lee are fighting in a crowd, and Parker is fighting with Santana at ringside. Kingston puts the trash can on Garcia's um, balls and stumps it before hitting Garcia with it, with it repeatedly. He puts the trash can on Garcia's head and kick it. Eddie Kingston tosses Garcia to the floor, and Ortiz suplex Lee on the floor as Parker slams Santana into barricade into the barricade. Lee throws Ortiz back into the crowd as Eddie Kitty is guarding Garcia's eye. Proud and powerful suplex Parker on the floor and Eddie Kitty suplex Garcia onto the trash can. Lee attacks Proud and Proud and powerful from behind and throw Ortiz in the ring. Commercial break. Santana rolls Parker into the color. Rolls into a cutter from Ortiz. They hit a flapjack on Lee and then Garcia comes in and rolls Ortiz up for a near fall. Ortiz comes back with a series of strikes and then Kingston hits a T-bone two plates on Garcia. Santana hits the fall splash for two, but Parker breaks it up. Lee throws powder in Santana's face and hits a DT for two. Lee DDTs Ortiz. And Garcia grabs a ring bell and tosses it in the ring. 2.0 holds King, Eddie Kingston as Garcia hits him with the bell. 1 2 no. Eddie Kingston kicks out. 2.0 and Garcia triple suplex Eddie Kingston through at the timekeeper's table at ringside. Garcia dives into a chair shot from Santana. Uh, Santana. Santana lays in 2.0 with chair shots too. In the ring, Ortiz. And Garcia exchanged forearms and chops until Santana comes in a proud of Papa. His and assistant's face buster. Parker attacks Proud and Powerful, but eats a combination of layers and kicks from Proud and Powerful for the pin. Then went on the match Proud, proud and Powerful and Eddie Kingston. This main event was this main event tag team match was fun. All right. Garcia and 2.0 attack Proud and Powerful and Eddie Kingston after the match, and they tape Kingston and tape Kingston to the ring ropes. Chris Jericho runs down and chase them, chase the heels off. And AEW Rampage goes off the air. But let me know down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on AEW Rampage. To me, I'm saying it was a good show, and that's all I gotta say from here. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my AEW Rampage review on Hollies, please give this video, give this video a big fat, a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on AEW Rampage tonight? Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And I will see you guys tomorrow for more to come back live on, on Twitch. And I just got affiliate on, on Twitch. So congratulate me down below in the comment section that I got affiliate by Twitch. But anyway, this your boy, B-Boy Fashion on TV. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and always stay positive. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. On Twitch for Monday come back eleven, cause this gonna be a banger. That stream is gonna be a banger. We might have fifteen or seven, seventeen people hosting my stream. You never know, but we'll see. That ain't prediction. It's a sport. It's not a prediction. It's a spoiler. That's all I gotta say from there. That's just my pen. But anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna wrap this video up. I'm gonna edit this video and then premiere it. So I'll see you guys in my premiere stream for my AEW Rampage review on highlights. I'll talk to you guys later. It's your boy, B-Boy Face on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. And I'm out of here.